Hello, Mega Crage here. Welcome back to Jack 2. In the last episode, we went through a hard mission through the Freaker Fortress that, you know, as you can tell, pissed me off. And this episode, we're actually going to go to the wrench. By the wrench, I mean the garage where we're going to race and do awesome stuff. And, um, we're here. Um, yes, I'm getting chased. Because, you know, every time, I cannot not get chased. But we can watch cutscene. Well, if it isn't the dark eco-freak. Where's Kira? Don't worry. I'm keeping a close eye on her. You're the talk of the town, Jack. You give the people hope. How pathetic. I would have enjoyed killing you in prison. But now, it'll be so much more fun to take you on the track in front of the entire city. I can hear the roar of the crowd now, as everyone sees their hope die. It's good to have you back, Daddy. Yes, it's nice to be free again. You know, Kira loves a winner. Someday she'll be my mechanic. Stay away from her. <laughs> <sighs> Errol's the best racer I've ever seen. He's not what you think. And you're a good judge of character? Ha! Look at you! People say you get angry and change. Besides, the Jack I knew wouldn't be working for a guy like Crew. I need Crew's connections to fight the Baron. Without my... You know what? Do it your way, and I'll do it mine. Just don't come crying to me when the walls fall down. Uh, Jack, buddy? <laughs> Where you going there, pal? Jack? Jack? Attention all drivers. The Class 2 races will begin soon. Now what are we gonna do? You'll have to drive for the team, Daxter. We need this win to qualify for the final championship. How hard can it be? Just to uh, hold on tight and point the thingy where I want it to go, right? And then there's the other thingy that makes it go fast. Fast is good. I can do this. I'm ready to race. <laughs> and so he is. Another race. But this time with Daxter as the driver. So the... Oh, shit. This is two out of three races that uh, you have to do to complete this whole thing. And I'm screwing up this first race. We might have a repeat of last time. Maybe. Okay, let's try that one more time. And then if I don't get this next time, I'll cut. But that jump is like kind of vital. You know, for cheating your way to the winner's circle. Oh, screw off, people. Okay, um, this is when cuts happen. Actually, no, it's not. Um, I'm gonna get this, uh, right. And we're gonna not do that cheap trick. Unless if I feel confident, which I don't even have turbo, so I couldn't. But, no, I could do it without the cheap trick. Yeah, we, we could do it, we could do it. Oh, okay, I didn't even... I forgot about that part. Okay, stay in the middle. Hit this. Turn. Yeah, I remember this race. From my last playthrough of it. Okay, screw off. Yeah, I'm not doing that, because that's too risque. For being in first. Like, again, first lap is like... You... From you know, from the last race, you already know what you know I was gonna do, and you saw it. If you could complete it, only do that for the first lap, because otherwise you're gonna screw up. Like it's too risky after the first lap, because then you're too far into it, and if you screw up, you have to do the whole race over again. So just don't don't do it after the first lap. And so you have to be really... Oh, come on. Are you fucking serious? I'm gonna get this. No, I'm not. Okay, this is when I cut. Because you saw the track. Now, let's just do this.
and that's how you do it. Third time. The first... No, fourth time. I'm not sure which one. But yeah, that was actually a lot easier because I actually used the skills that I redeveloped in the first race that of this and used it in this. Not, not too bad. We did it in 2 minutes 36 seconds, so... And not as many fails this time around, so it went pretty well. Now there's a handsome winner. You did it, Daxter. You helped us qualify for the big race. Did you ever doubt? I backseat drive for Jack all the time. Hey, when do I get the winner's big kiss? Maybe later, if you're a good boy. Hey there. We, uh, we showed those class two losers a thing or two, huh? I saw. You drifted a little high in the turns a few times, but you hung in there. I'm proud of you, Dax. Really? Yeah, you did great. No, we did great. Right, partner? That was pretty heartwarming, I gotta say. Now, let's go work for the person that um, Kara is so mad about us working for. So yeah, let's go to Cruise Place. That's that's what that whole sentence meant. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Whoa, God, that's not the jump I was expecting. But yeah, we're, we're here. You boys are all right, and since the boss is out of it right now, I'm going to give it to you straight. I've been cruise heavy for years, and I've done some things I'm not proud of. But this time, I think Cruz gotten himself and us into something really nasty. I'm thinking of getting out. Oh, Sig's beginning to like us, Jack. Come here, you big lug. Hugs for everyone. Knock it off. I think Cruz trying to... <laughs> Relax. Watch me butter up bun boy. Hey there, stuffed crust! How's it feel floating on top of the food chain? Ooh, crewmeister! Have you been exercising? You're looking good. You are definitely mm, living large. Mm -hmm. And those legs, they're so uh, chiseled. I need you to escort three of my boys down into the sewers and visit that statue again. I've heard that Mars cheeky face might contain another secret, and I want to see if the stories are true, eh? Make sure all three of my boys get to that statue, and they'll do all the rest, hmm? Yeah, they'll do the rest, Got face on. Um, jump down? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So we gotta go back to the sewers and help three of Cruz guys that is in Cruz crew through the sewers. Now this mission can be hard, can be easy depending on your luck sometimes, and if you remember where some enemy, certain enemies are, and you will see what I'm talking about later. Why are they taking me this route to get to the sewers? I don't know. But I'm taking it anyway. Unless if it's a different part of the sewers. But yeah, so this mission is going to be kind of... It's going to be one hell of a mission. So... Jump cut. Yeah, it's the same sewers that we have to wait for the door to open. We're gonna do some squats. We're gonna roll. Is that even like physically possible to like do the roll and jump? Like I don't, I don't think so. That's that's pretty intense. Yeah, so he, they have health bars. You have to protect their asses. And yeah, we have to bring them to the statue. Traps and keep moving. We go down. Uh, do we have to? 
Yeah. Yeah, they do a lot of talking, so I might accidentally be silent. Yeah, it's a metalhead. So yeah, you got you gotta protect these a holes from all the metal heads. Um, I've gotten aggravated with this mission before, like really aggravated. So um, you you, you just gotta be careful and watch all your surroundings before all your guys die. Oh yeah, and these metal heads have lasers and crap, which is really like far range. And they're lasers that are connected. It's like one line. Okay. I am doing really bad this first time. Huh. I just gotta do perfect throughout the rest of this. Or I'm screwed. Okay, so take cover at this part. I like to take maximum cover and still watch the explosion at the same time. I watch the explosion and to cover. <laughs> Where'd you put in those boomsticks? You bad breath. Now move. Uh, I, I I do like these guys. Yeah, so you gotta kill those first. You know, cause it's easier to do it that way. And then I kill those next. It's and throughout from here on out, it's actually pretty easy if you know what you're doing. And if you're watching this, then you know what you're doing, cause you're messing with. The son of a bitch, nah, yeah, messing with the son of Okay. Hey, oh, don't go out without me. Or go down. Oh, this room, this part's a bitch, I think. Unless if I'm thinking of the wrong part. I'm thinking of the wrong part. I was thinking of a completely different mission, actually. Yeah, you slow piece of crap. Yeah, you, got, you gotta be, like, in the middle of them. You can't be in front. You can't be in back. You have to be in the middle. Because... Sorry, they, they appear from behind too. So this part is kind of, you have to watch, you know, both 12 and 6 o'clock. So it's pretty crappy. But I do have the magic according to Jinx here, or whatever his name is. I think that's Jinx. Jinx. Oh, yeah, this part is also what killed me before. You just gotta jump over the beams. Yeah, look at me go. Yeah. I'm pretty awesome, ain't I? See, I, I like I like how like video game characters give like the main character that you were playing as like like oh you're so awesome things. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, go back. Shoot, shoot. Okay, I'm I just screwed myself over there. Oh, die. Okay, after this is definitely easier. No lie. I just hope that they have uh, health packs. I'm doing a lot better than I did the first time around. So, okay, Pat. Okay, these are health. Th that has to be health. No, are you serious? Oh, no, this is the part I was thinking of. Yep, same mission. It's a trap. Okay, uh, just start spamming. And what I like to do at- No, 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 no. What I like to do at the beginning of this. Because they- oh, You know, or when you're stuck. Just do that. Take out the blue gun. And just start- Just start lighting them up. Because this is actually the best gun for this. Because there's so many of them. Kills them instantly. Not instantly. But kills them pretty fast, cause it's a machine gun. You know, get a blue eco machine gun. It's pre it's pretty nice how they did that. I I liked how they correspond the uh, guns with the ecos that you did in the first game. You know, blue eco was speed, so you use blue gun for a machine gun. Red was power, so shotgun for red. And yellow was actually the uh, gun thing, so it's just a regular rifle. I like it. But yeah, that was prob probably the hardest part of this whole mission. Uh, so, and we passed it, you know, with some awesome skills. That's why I like to keep the sh um, 
for this mission, keep the um, dark jack for that specific reason. Jack looked pissed. So yeah, I believe this is the last time that we are gonna ever be in these uh ruin these sewers ruins these sewers ever again. So be happy, be sad, be whatever. I'm glad we're seventy percent through the game as of now. I think either seventy or more, cause it was sixty-eight before I started this started this up. So yeah, um. And that's going to be it for this episode. Um, next episode, we are going to the firing range. At least that's what I think it is. And then we're going to go to Torns. And then probably end the episode off there. Depending on what goes on. I, don't, I can't remember the exact sequence. But stuff does go on. So, um, until next time. Mega Cridge. Signing out.